Hi everybody and welcome to the Sturgeon Full Moon Ceremony, also known as the Grain Moon or the Harvest Moon or the Red Moon. This month we've got two moons uh, coming in and the second one is the end of the month which is going to be a, a blue moon but these are both super moons. So a um, place where we've been doing our ceremonies with Sophia, she's away at the moment, so just want to show you another aspect, another side that we can do the ceremonies at home. We can do a macro ceremony. It doesn't have to be a major one. So those who know us know uh, Nicole and Dorota and Roxy and uh, as, as the family. And we're going to go through the ceremony with you um, today. And I uh, hope that you enjoy it. So let's begin. We're going to open sacred space. I'm going to use my Florida water, homemade Florida water or spirit water, go through the directions. And then we're going to open up the uh, the world culture in that as well so let's begin with that what this does is feeds our archetypes for each of the directions and you'll hear as we go along um, <clears throat> each one as, as we go through so <laughs> to the winds of the south great serpent wrap your cause the light around us Teach us to shed our past like you, shed your skin, talk softly on the earth. Show us the beauty way, our home. <laughs> to the winds of the west, mother, sister, jaguar, protect our medicine space. Teach us the way of peace, to live impeccably. Show us the way beyond death, our home. <laughs> To the winds of the north, royal hummingbird, royal hawk, grandmothers, grandfathers, ancient ones, come warm your hand by our fires, whisper to us in the wind, we honour you who have come before us and who will come after us, our children's children, our whole. <laughs> to the winds of the east, great eagle, condor, come to us from the place in the rising sun, keep us under your wing, show us the mountains we only dare dream of. Teach us to fly wing to wing with great spirit. Aho. Aho. Mm -hmm. Pachamama. Mother Earth, great mother. We come for the honouring of all of your children. The stone people, the plant people, the four-legged, the two-legged, the creepy crawlies, the fin, the third, the wing ones, all our relations. Aho. Aho. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Father, son. Grandmother Moon, Star Nation's Great Spirit. You who are known by a thousand names, you who are the unnameable one, thank you for gathering us together and allowing us to sing the song of life. Aho. Aho. As we open up this sacred space around us, all of us, and those that are watching this video as well. Now we're going to open a second, separate or second sacred space and this will be our world culture which is around ourselves and we'll also do this through the group so we have lots of sacred space that we are protected by so we bring our hands together in front of our hearts fingers just slightly apart and our back straight vertebrae straight in this way here where our energy flows and this has been a, a position for, for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, long before organised religion came along. So on the next in-breath, we're going to bring our hands up into our eighth chakra, this golden orb of light, and we're going to spread our hands out and then spread this around us. So we're surrounding in this golden orb of light all around us there now. And then now we're going to bring it over you, over the collective, over the ones that are watching this recording. And on the next in-breath, bringing these hands up into this eighth, this golden orb of light, this eighth chakra. Now bring it over you, all who are watching this recording there now. Oh. That's good. As we're sitting there, just want to you know, picture, visualize, imagine a grounding cord, a cord going down from your root chakra, from your, your first chakra going down into the center of the earth. I want you to make it as wide as your hips, 
picture, visualize, imagine this grounding cord going down into the earth, down, 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 and visualize it into the middle of the earth and then anchoring, grabbing hold of the crystalline center. This grounding that we have that research is now showing us can reduce our stress and anxiety by up to 70% by just doing this one exercise. This grounding cord, or you can visualize yourself on the ground and the space around you is like roots of a tree going out grounding, being in balance and being calm in that area. Feel that there now. Just take a moment. As your heartbeat slows down, as your breathing slows down, as you're enjoying this. That's good. Just take your time there now. And now we're going to have uh, Drotter and Nicole talk to us about the Sturgeon Full Moon of Themes in Aquarius. So uh, let's enjoy this. The full Sturgeon Moon in Aquarius is a power lunar event that carries a deep spiritual significance for many people. In astrology, Aquarius is known as the site of innovation, progress and caring of people. It is also associated with individuality and freedom. It applies these energies and encourages us to embrace our unique qualities and follow our passion with renewed energy. The Sturgeon Moon is named after the large freshwater fish that were abandoned in North America during August, the time of the full moon. In many Native American cultures, the sturgeon was served as a symbol of strength, resilience, and determination. It was also seen as a powerful spiritual ally that could help people navigate the challenges of life. The full sturgeon moon in Aquarius represents a time of great spiritual growth and transformation. It reminds us to embrace our individuality, honor our inner guidance, and, pres and pursue our dreams with passion and purpose. It was also, it also invites us to connect our ancestors, our spiritual allies, and the natural world around us, and to draw strength and inspiration from their wis wisdom and guidance. This is a time to trust in the path, our own intuition, and to take bold steps towards creating a more just, equitable, and compassionate world. full moon great time to get the crystals out to put them under the full moon to energy to cleanse clear and to recharge really important time to do this many other ways of doing it you have the vogel breath method um, you can put them onto the earth as well or bury them for a little bit of time uh, run it through the water and uh, and of course yes you can put them under the sun but we are in the northern hemisphere in full summer so no more than half an hour Half an hour is certainly more than enough to cleanse and clear the crystals uh, under the sun. But under the full moon, it really is a, a wonderful way to do it. And we have a table full of crystals 
that we put outside and allow the moon to, to come and cleanse and clear as we go through from there. So most of you are aware with the shamanic energy and wellness work that I do, um, my uh, area of working is with fire and we have the candle here, we don't have the big fire like we have on an outdoor ceremony, but the effect is the same and, and it's still as strong and as powerful. So what we're going to do is uh, take a stick and you can um, pause the video, get a stick yourself or roll up a piece of paper or you can use the ones that we're using, we'll put them close to the camera and you can blow any of your negative thoughts, your negative feelings, emotions uh, with this Sturgeon Moon and Aquarius, the time of releasing and the old outdated stuff of cleaning and clearing, clearing your attic, clearing your rooms, your garage and things as well. So what we're going to do is blow those into the, into the stick um, there is a, a full video on this to, to watch on YouTube if you want to. Uh, and each time I do a, a separate thought or a feeling, I like to just turn the stick just a little bit to the side as I, as I blow in. Then we're going to release them to the fire and you'll see how we do this. So whether you do this now, um, you can blow into our sticks as well as I present them, or you can do them for yourself later on. But anything that you think of and any situations that come up in our lives uh, we always do a, a fire ceremony to help with that. So think of anything that you want to, to get rid of, anything you want to, to change, any negativity, and then blow them into the stick. Then turn the stick a little bit, think clearly about the next one that you want to release. Turn the stick, and a little bit more, next one. And you can blow your breath into there with the intensity that is needed. I like to do up to about seven, doesn't have to be seven, but it can be less than that. And then when you're ready, we're gonna put them to the fire. Just releasing, being careful with the flames. And you think of those thoughts again, those thoughts, feelings, emotions that you want to release. Always being careful of your fingers or your hands. When it starts to get a little bit close, I like to turn it up and let it back burn on itself. And you can let your burn as far as it'll go. At some stage, you may not see it on camera, but it's just poof, that final releasement of the smoke and letting go there. Pop that onto there. So anything that comes up, anything that happens at work, or maybe something happens on the motorway, or things that's coming into your life, then we can do this releasement two, three times a day if you need to, until you feel that you have released that. Then we draw this flame, First off, to our belly, bringing the light to our belly, a place of creation. And we do that twice of scooping that light up. And then scooping it up and bringing it to our heart, to our heart area, to a place of right relationship, of, of right loving. And then to our third eye, to our sixth chakra, a place of right thinking, of right knowing. Blowing the light up those energy centers, those chakras, and then bringing the light and allowing it to, to bathe in and through your whole body. Scooping and bringing that through, allowing that energy as part of the fire ceremony. So 
if you want to this evening or any evenings or mornings you can do the ceremony whenever you like so now we have a journaling exercise and you're invited to journal and write on a piece of paper what you need to declutter detox or clear from your life in order to make room and allow for the transformative energy of Aquarius. Papers can be burnt in the candle, buried in the earth or released to the waters of Mother Earth. You can pause this recording and start again when you've completed this task. So just take your time whenever you're ready. With the element of air, it's all about expressing original thoughts and ideas, despite how unpopular they may be or who may disagree. It's about establishing a unique sense of individuality. It's a time to remove any filters that have been diluting your truest, most authentic way of expressing yourself. Also write about gratitude. A. Open your journal or notebook and write down things you are grateful for in your life. B. Express gratitude for the opportunities, resources and support that we have become your way. C. Thank the universe, the full moon and any spiritual guides or entities you, res you resonate with. D. This can also be burnt in a candle, buried in the earth, or released to the waters of Mother Earth as gratitude and thanks. So now we're going to do a, a meditation on the full sturgeon moon of Aquarius. So as you're sitting there, I'd like you to close your eyes. Just go within and feel your breathing. The breath coming in and out of your nostrils or your mouth. Or feel your stomach expanding and contracting with each breath. Or bring that heart, head, brain into cohesion. So let's start with breathing for twos. Breathe in for two, hold for two, out for two, hold for two. So breathing in, one, Two, hold. One, two, out. One, two, hold. One, two, in. Hold. Out. Hold. Now you can increase that to threes or fours or more. Just keep breathing with your eyes closed and relax and listen to my voice. The full sturgeon moon in Aquarius is a time of heightened awareness and deep introspection. As the moon reaches its peak, it illuminates the night sky, casting a radiant glow over everything below. For centuries, people have looked to the moon for guidance, solace and inspiration, and this powerful lunar event is no exception. In astrology, the full sturgeon moon is associated with the zodiac sign Aquarius, which is known for its independent, rebellious and unconventional nature. This energy is reflected in the moon's light as it shines down on the world, urging us to break free from our limitations and embrace our true selves. It's a time to let go of the past and step into the unknown trusting that the universe will guide us on our journey. As you meditate on this full sturgeon moon, allow yourself to connect with the energy of Aquarius. Imagine yourself standing under the moon's glow as it fills you, <clears throat> fills you with this radiant light. Feel its energy coursing through your veins awakening your inner rebel and inspiring you to take bold action in your life. As you breathe deeply, allow your mind to wander and explore the possibilities that lie ahead. What dreams and aspirations have you been holding back? What fears and doubts have been keeping you from living your best life? 
Use this powerful lunar energy to tap into your deepest desires and unlock the courage and confidence you need to pursue. Remember, the full sturgeon moon is a time of transformation and change. It's an opportunity to release old patterns and habits that no longer serve you and embrace new ones that will help you grow and evolve. As you meditate, visualize yourself shedding your old skin and stepping into a new, more empowered version of yourself. Finally, as you bring this and your meditation to a close, take a moment to express gratitude for the full sturgeon moon and all that it represents. Give thanks for the guidance and inspiration it has provided and for the courage and strength it has given you to pursue your dreams. Remember that the moon's energy will continue to guide you long after the full sturgeon moon has passed and that it will always be there to offer comfort, wisdom and support whenever you need it. I'm just taking some time now. And if you're wanting to meditate a little more, you can pause the recording. Take some time. And when you're ready, just bringing yourself, maybe now, back into your body. Back to the now. Slowly in your own time, breathe your eyes open. Well done. With this full moon, I release all energies that don't serve me. Handful of thoughts, toxic patterns, fears, negative emotions, old beliefs, and anything that is not for my highest good. I'm ready for transformation and welcome with open arms with this new shift in energy that I'm now ready for. In clearing my space, I'm ready for writing a new book filled with amazing opportunities, connections, abundance, and blessings. There is a two weeks period of instance of opportunity, an opening for healing distinctive habits and patterns to make changes in the real world. Then we let the universe take care of the details. The Great Spirit's Prayer O oh, Great Spirit, her voice I hear in the wind, whose breath gives life to all the world. Hear me, I need your strength and wisdom. Let me walk in beauty and make my eyes ever behold the red and purple sunset. Make my hands respect the things you have made and my ears sharp to hear your voice. Make me wise so that I may understand the things you have taught my people. Help me to remain calm and strong in the face of all that comes toward me. Let me learn the lessons you have hidden in every leaf and rock. Help me seek pure thoughts and act with the intention of helping others. Help me find compassion without empathy overwhelming me. I seek strength, not to be greater than my brother, but to fight my greatest enemy, myself. Make me always ready to come to you with clean hands and straight eyes. So when life fades, as the fading sunset, my spirit may come to you without shame. Fantastic, and that's uh, from the Lakota culture, translated by Chief Yellow Lark.
you for sharing and enjoying the Sturgeon Full Moon Ceremony with us. The end of the month, I think it's about the 30th, is the Blue Moon, the second moon uh, that we'll be celebrating. And hopefully we'll be back at Sophia's place under the mountains of Andrax and the beautiful island of Mallorca. So hopefully many of you will be able to join us there. So let's close our work coaches, our sacred space that we have around us. What I'd like you to do is bring your hands in front and then around the group, I'd like, like, a, like a cloak or a robe or a blanket just to scoop up this Wirakota, bringing it up, bringing it together and bringing it up above our heads. And that what's only for our highest good, bring down into our body, into our energy bodies. And then we give a little bit extra for Pachamama for her much needed healing. And now we're going to close our own Wirakota, our own sacred space by folding up the folds bring out the folds of our own world culture, bringing them up above our head and only again what is for our highest good, this time into our energy centers, into our seventh chakra, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second and first chakra, then extra for Pachamama to go from there. Normally if we were doing this outside in a big group, we would go and have some nice healthy snacks and some drinks as well. But we're not doing that, but we might go and have a nice herbal cup of tea or something. Anything you'd like to say? Uh, thank you for listening, and we hope we'll see you soon. Good. Goodbye. <laughs> and we look forward to catching up with you soon. Aho and bye for now. Aho. Aho. Aho.